write your paper, put it aside for two weeks, come back and reduce it by 50%. Uh, and then, when you've reduced it by 50%, because you, inevitably, you, the, the, the art of writing concisely is, is something that you have to develop. You're not born with it. Uh, and, and good courses in English and in that sort of stuff don't train you to do that. So reduce it by 50%, and then ask to your toughest critics to review it. And only then, once you respond to the criticism, only then submit it to the journal. Because if your friends won't tell you, your enemy sure as hell will. You probably do that. You probably learn that in the ways. Yep, that's advice number one I give to all students, both yeah. theology and otherwise. That you can't perforate your own work. You simply have to have other people. And the one thing I tell authors repeatedly who never like hearing that their paper is not great is that if somebody responds to something in your paper, believe that there's a reason they're responding. And don't spend all your energy justifying why what you did is there. Yeah. If somebody has reacted to it, just take it as a fact that there's something there that needs to be treated. Needs your attention. Right. And it may be as simple as you didn't explain it well enough the first time, but you simply can't say, well, they didn't get it. That's never the answer. Uh, Rick, we're talking about 1980 or something like that. It sends in this paper, handwritten paper, waffling all over the place about uh, philosophy involved with what he saw 30 years ago. And, and, I and I suggested how he might move, how he might extract stuff and restructure it. Oh, boy, did I get back at snotty levels. Like, who the hell did I think I was? But, uh, he was three times my age. I told him that was the problem. But 